long we have blindly followed the wrong path. Now, through the silence brought by this virus, we can hear her. We hear Gaia, our Mother Earth. Let's unite and follow a new path, a path of light, kindness, love, and respect for our fellow humans and nature. Stay safe, stay sound, and breathe a breath of fresh hope for our future. Jacopo Rampini. I'm an Italian-American actor, and I'm talking to you from my apartment in Harlem, New York City. Creativity will save us. The show will go on. And I want to read you a song by Italian songwriter Lucio Dalla named L'anno che verrà. Dear friend, I'm writing to you so that I can distract myself just a little bit. And since you're very far away, I'll write to you even louder. Since the time you left, there's been a big change. The old year is over by now, but something here still isn't right. We rarely go out in the evening, including days off, and there are people who put sandbags near their windows, and we spend whole weeks without talking. And those who have nothing to say still have some time left to spare. But television said that the new year will bring a transformation and we're all waiting impatiently. It'll be Christmas three times a year, a holiday all day long. Every Christ will get off the cross and births will come back too. There will be food and light all year long. Dumb people will be able to talk too, well, deaf people already do and will make love everyone as they like. Priests will be allowed to get married too, but only at a certain age. And without too much trouble, someone will disappear. Maybe it will be the people who are too sly and idiots of any age. You see, dear friend, what I'm writing and telling you and how glad I am to be here in this moment, you see, you see, dear friend, what we have to make up to be able to laugh it off, to keep hoping. And if this year would pass in an instant, then you see, my friend, how important it becomes for me to be here too, in this moment. The year that's coming will be over in a year. I'm preparing myself. This is what's new. Ready, set, imagine.
What is art? What's the art of dance? For me, it is the most valuable thing in the universe. It is to be able to express something far beyond the inexplicable sense that is the mystery of all things. Art is as important as any other basic need to live. Art is the only way to give human beings a reason to live. It is the universal language. To dance is not only to move the body, it is to connect with the soul. We come from the universe. We are made of star stuff. Maybe its magic is to connect us invisibly with the purest of our creation, with what is human of all of us, with the importance that ultimately all of us are one. Thank you, Willie Borman, for teaching me the essentials of a dancer. Happy birthday. You will remain alive in all of us. can all play makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> oh, I can't stop touching my face. <laughs> is it fever? Do I have fever? Do I have fucking fever? I don't know. Can I smell? I haven't had human contact in 14 days. I'm not even talking about fucking or a kiss. Give me an arm brush, <laughs> you know, like a, woo. Now working off, I makes Jack no boy. <laughs> and I ran out of bark thins. <laughs> I did. Maybe some of the drown out the fucking sirens. <laughs> Is that? Three, four in the last 30 minutes? I don't even fucking know anymore. Here I am in this warm house complaining. <laughs> At least I'm not stuck with somebody I can't get away from that I don't feel safe around. What the fuck are the homeless gonna do? What are they doing? Everybody's telling, oh, stay at home. Stay the fuck home. Stay inside. They don't have me a fucking place to go. What are they going to do? And I'm complaining about bark thins. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Will you show me some light? <laughs> I want to believe that there's light. Are you fucking hearing me? That's right, you fly. I can't even fucking kill you because you're the only living creature that is anywhere near me these days. I want to believe that the light is brighter now than it ever has been. That maybe this thing, this, this, this dis-ease is... Is here to tell us we're all the fucking same. Hey, fuck division. You're in a city. That's in a state. That's in a country. That's in a continent. But is there any separation between any of us? I can't help but believe that this dis-ease 
is here to tell us that we're we're all just one big I don't know, domino board game. <laughs> it's like, it's like, one after the other. But we're all connected, right? There's there's just no division because it's here, it's everywhere. There's no escaping. And it knows no boundaries. We're just one human race trying to stay alive. One fly trying to stay alive. <laughs> I don't know. I want to believe that there's light. There's light in all of this. That we all just need to be better and kinder and love, not hate. Better to our earth, better to ourselves, better to each other. Help. Just help someone else. Because we're all the fucking same. Will you show me some light? <laughs> Ready, set, imagine. What is my perspective in this uh, difficult time, or uh, more a difficult time, I would say more unique time uh, for people that work in the entertainment business, uh, artists, musicians, and etc. Et one thing that I'm very proud, I'm very happy, like they did in Italy, but they're doing all over the world, and I think New York will be a perfect place to do it, is share your art. Share your art with without any second uh, object. Share your art like in an organic way, uh, a new song, an old song, a performance, uh, a poem, whatever, because those are the things that are really lifting up people. So my message is only to take advantage of this unique moment. Do what sometimes our normal schedule doesn't allow to do it, and uh, enjoy the music, enjoy your reading. And I don't want to be naive. I know that, like you know, there is the economy and all this big trouble. But unfortunately, they're like above us. And there is nothing that we can do right now. So I will say to you, just do what usually always complain that you don't have time to do. It. So enjoy this unique time and try to get the positive out of it. So good luck to everybody. And I will say to all of you, ready, set, imagine. Bye.
everybody, this is Cristiana Pegoraro, concert pianist and composer, artistic director of the Narnia Festival in Italy. Music has always been my life. I deeply love what I do, travel, perform for audiences around the world, organizing a festival which brings together over 300 students from all over the world and the greatest artists and teachers on an international level. Unfortunately, we are experiencing a very challenging time at the moment uh, with the coronavirus forcing us to be isolated at home and not have contacts with people around us. Theatres, auditoriums shut down. No shows, no concerts, no live music to share with an audience. It is really a very dark moment. This forced silence is bad not only for the artists, but also for the audiences around the world. The performing arts bring happiness in people's life. I couldn't imagine a life without music or art. My thought goes to New York City, a city I adore. I moved to New York City many years ago. This wonderful city gave me so many opportunities of growth as an artist and as a person. Of course, the performing arts bring a huge value to New York City as well as to the entire world. Now, Forcing artists not to perform in public is not only economically hard for the artists and the artistic world, but it affects our soul as well. A musician needs to perform, needs to share his art with a live audience. Failing to do so makes us feel very sad. A part of us is missing. But hey, this is just a moment in our life. This situation will not last forever. Let's take this time as an opportunity to rethink about our life, to become better human beings and consequentially better artists. Let's take this as a time for learning. Maybe it is a good chance to practice more, study new pieces, come up with renewed ideas about our playing, compose new pieces, create new projects. We are all there together. The whole world is stopping, so we shouldn't feel like we are missing on something. Of course, we are missing on life, but we are all on the same boat. We all have to wait. You will see, time will pass. I'm sure we will come out of this renewed in spirit, maybe with a better understanding about ourselves, life, people, nature, music and the arts. Life and the show must go on. A prayer for all the people who are struggling with their health and a heartfelt thank you to all the doctors, nurses, all the people who are working so hard to help us in this difficult moment, everywhere in the world. We will go through this together. We will make it together. Viva la musica! Ready, set, imagine! Ciao! Within your head 